us paper 2020 for Benjamin level till question number 20. Now we are going to discuss question number 21 till end. Okay. First of all, I will read the question. Then we will discuss answer one by one and we will find the most suitable option. Understood? Now question 21. In order to reduce the frictional forces with the environment. Whenever we use this word reduce, so you must use oiling. Oiling is the method by which you can reduce the friction. And what is friction? Friction is a force that two surfaces exert on each other when they rub against each other. It means when they are in contact, so they produce some friction. Surface pushing together, these are the factors. Rough versus smooth surfaces. Smooth surfaces have low friction. Rough surfaces have high friction. Lubricants, oil or grease. So if you apply lubricants or grease, you can reduce the friction. If you press forcefully, high friction, rough surfaces, high friction, press lightly, low friction, smooth surface, low friction. So read the option. Bicyclists stand upright and wear wide clothing. The standing position doesn't affect on friction, so A is wrong. Swimmers keep their arms wide open. Uh, wide opening it means uh, there is no relation in this is this as with uh, because if you minimize the friction so you have to keep a streamlined body not wide open arms so this is again wrong c we have to consider the fact that there is friction only with water not with air no air resistant and water resistant both are present in the environment d Speed skaters wear tight, glossy clothes and keep their hand close to their bodies. It means the position is different and glossy clothes. Obviously, this is this minimizes the friction. So I think D is correct. Uh, read E as well. The friction of a car with the air does not depend upon the shape of a car. No shape also affects the friction. So D is the most suitable answer because glossy, the word glossy, you can keep this thing in mind. Glossy means greasy or uh, some oiling. So this cloth, this type of cloth reduce the friction. Okay, got it? Now move on question number two, uh, 22. Question 22. Paramecium is a unicellular organism with the shape of resembling the sole of a shoe. You can see this, this type of, this organism is known as paramecium and you can see this hair like structure, they are known as cilia. Actually, I'm talking about unicellular organisms and some particular organ they have by which they can move. So I would like to give this information first, then we will read the question. So you can see this hair like a structure. This is a unicellular organism. This is called paramecium. You can see in this picture euglena and this clemidomonas as well. This is also algae and this is also plant euglena and both have this, this type of structure. This is known as flagella. The green algae of microworld. The, this, the, it has two flagella. This is clemidomonas. It has one flagella. This is just like a thread like a structure, not hair like a structure. And another unicellular organism that is known as amoeba. The body of amoeba has finger like projections which are called pseudopodia. These projections are called pseudopodia. Actually, pseudopodia is a finger like projection which help amoeba to obtain food from surrounding. So these are uh, locomotory organ, or you can say these organ help to move these uh, plants and uh, animals. This pseudopodia is for amoeba, flagella, and this flagella also for clematibnos. This is for euglena, and this hair like structure that is called cilia is for paramecium or paramecium. Both are correct. So read the question and find the answer. Which one of the following uses cilia for moving? You can see euglena, no. Amoeba, no. Paramecium, yes. Euglena, uh, volvox, no. Influenza virus, virus, uh, no. So answer C is correct. Now move on question number 23. Which 
what is the true about shadows formation we have uh, know this thing that uh, light cannot pass through opaque or opaque objects so only opaque or little bit translucent object can form a shadow so when an object is transparent obviously this word transparent it will form a shadow only if it is much larger than the light so transparent no light pass through the transparent thing it doesn't form any shadow so a is incorrect and object will form a shadow only if it is large enough no uh, size does it depend an object will form a shadow it is opaque it is correct see again you read uh, d as well if an object is transparent it will form a shadow regardless of its shape and size no transparent object don't make any shadow an object will form a shadow only if it is in the air no it is incorrect so answer c opaque uh, an object will form a shadow if it is opaque c is correct now move on question number 24 Question number twenty-four. It's all about another type of invertebrate. Actually, there are nine phylum of invertebrates, and uh, in another video we will discuss one by one. But in this case, you just read the question. Then I will uh, tell a little bit about all options. so you will be able to find the correct option which of the following cylindrates can be found in the sea cylindrates are those organisms they have cylindrical bodies they have one mouth on which all uh, just like jellyfish all tentacles can be appeared so coral jellyfish and sea anemone are cylindrates sponges are uh is fungus belong to phylum porifera actually is fungus have pores in their bodies have you seen is sponge bob it lives in sea it lives uh, but it has pores sea entrails are those organism they don't have any pores in their body so is fungus is incorrect coral is correct because coral is sea entrail worms worms found in mud earthworm and other worms found in uh, water as well but worms are not cylindrates they belong to another phylum mollusk they form another uh, they have no pores they have shell this is another phylum arthropods arthropods have um different structure they have uh, so they they have uh, they don't they cannot be found in sea so coral is only cylindrate in this picture so just read the answer a necrotic invertebrate animal of a phylum that include jellyfish coral and sea anemone so you re you just keep all three names when cylindrates uh, comes in the question so you if jellyfish coral and sea anemone is there so this is the correct answer just keep this information in your mind Uh, if we have time, so we will discuss in detail all nine phy phylum about invertebrate. Now, question number twenty-five. Which of the following statement is true about the electric current? Only electric current only uh, produced when the circuit is closed and it contains an electric battery. Just read the option, then we will find the answer. It is produced only if the circuit is closed. and contains an electric battery b it represent the quartic movement of electron through conductor no it represent an ordered movement of proton no it uh, actually electron are moving during electric current the proton then proton is incorrect it is measured with ammeter uh, mounted in series with the battery when the circuit is open ammeter obviously measured Uh, current, but the circuit is closed. It has the same value no matter how many circuit elements are connected to the battery circuit. No, uh, uh, current would be changed. So A is most suitable answer. It is produced only if the circuit is closed and contain an electric battery. 
Now question number 26. Pollen grain are found in. We have discussed the flower diagram. Flower has four structures, sepal, petal, stamen and carpal. Uh, sepal are green in color. They just uh, save or protect the uh, flower. Uh, and petals are colorful. They attract petals. And uh, stamen has two this type of two structure filament and anther in anther you can see pollen grain and then carpal uh, style stigma ovary ovary contain ovule so pollen grain are formed in stamen pollen grain in anther and anther is a part of the stamen so e is correct now Question 27. Regarding the flat mirror, we have discussed flat mirror. Flat mirror always formed an image that is virtual, that is same in size. Just read the answer. It reflects right diffusely. Diffusely means it absorbs something. It forms the image of the object situated behind it. The image of an object is formed at distance equal to half the distance between the mirror and the object. Half, no, same distance. It forms upright virtual image equal to the size of the object. It forms upright real image equal to the size of the object. No, it doesn't form real image. It is the image is virtual. So D is correct. Now question number 28. The part of the flower which produces the seeds after fertilization An axle, the style, the plant ovary, the stigma, the anther. The part of the flower which produces seeds after fertilization. Uh, plant ovary, anther, axle. Axle after, obviously, after fertilization. Axle. Uh, stigma sigma style ovary is the part of stamen. Okay, uh, question number 27 regarding the flagner, we can say that it reflects light diffusely. Can say wide spreading? No, and it forms an image. The object is situated behind it, and no, in front of the image of an object is formed at a distance equal to half. No, it forms upright virtual image equal to the size of the object. Correct. It forms upright real image. No, no real image is formed. It forms. Now question 28. The part of the flower which produces the seed after fertilization is the egg cell. Not a stigma and thirst style in the plant ovary. In ovary, there is XL, so XL diffuses or XL meet the uh, male gamut and seeds produce in XL. So A is correct. Now question 29. Uh, meteor is the same as meteorite is a small body made up of a stone or metal obtaining outside the earth it is meteorite that has reached the surface of the earth d due to the friction with the terrestrial atmosphere it burns completely before it reaches the surface of the earth e is the same as meteorite just read the information when meteorites enters the earth atmosphere or other planet at high speed and burns up the fireballs or shooting stars are called meteors when a meteorite survive a trip through atmosphere and hits the ground it is called meteorite so it burned up due to friction the terrestrial atmosphere it burns completely before it reaches the surface of the earth so d is correct answer 
the last question question number 30 when light beam falls on a windshield of a car so what happens Light always travels in a straight line until something gets in its way. When that happens, light can be absorbed, reflected, or refracted, bent, depending on what kind of surface it hits. A simple definition of light transmission is when light travels through a medium such as glass without being reflected, absorbed, or scattered. You can see this diagram as well. Reflect, transmit, some absorb, or maybe scatter. So, windshield of a car, so uh, the light is fully reflected. No, it's not a mirror. Uh, the light cannot be absorbed because windshield is not black. Uh, no, not be absorbed. Some, some light can be absorbed. It's not a black. Obviously, windshield is not a black. A uh, light is transmitted through the windshield only if there is passenger in the car. Passengers uh, emission or transmission of light doesn't depend on presence of passengers. D. The light phenomena of reflection, transmission and absorption occur simultaneously. Only light reflection, transmission phenomena occur simultaneously. Actually, a light can be absorbed, transmit and scatter windshield. Uh, when it uh, light beam falls on windshield so all these happen reflection transmission and absorption so d is correct so this was all about 30 questions of paper 2020 for benchmark level so if you have any uh, problem or query so you can ask me and this is all about we have done till 30 questions Thank you very much. Uh, next lesson, we will start paper 19, question number 1, 2, question number 10. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.